Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Mortal Kombat 11. Continuing my series on the verse variations, it is time to look at some of the brand new variation 3s that have been introduced as of the latest patch. Yeah, again, this series is focused on characters that have not exactly received the best treatment uh, when it comes to second variations and now we can say third variations. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be taking a look at several of these characters, starting with Miss Sonya Blade. As I said at the start, not all variation 3s are made equal. Some characters have truly gotten excellent third variations and some characters not so much. One of the characters that did not get an excellent third variation is of course Sonya. So in this episode we're going to be looking at this third variation, looking at its tools, looking at why it's bad and taking it online for a couple of matches. So I like playing Sonya. I think she's a fun character. Uh, she is... she's got a cool gameplay mechanic. I like, I like her overall. I like her especially now that she's not horribly OP. However, this third variation, Tan Hut, completely misses the point of Sonya Blade. Here's the thing, Sonya Blade is an up-close brawler character. Uh, even though her zoning is good, her energy rings, especially in variation 2, uh, she is not meant to zone, she is meant to stay up in your face. So, what does she get in variation 3? She gets a zoning tool, uh, in the form of this cat drone, which can be uh, basically commanded to do several different things. I think the last one is, yeah, you can detonate it. It also has a command grab. Yeah, there it is. Not a command grab, it's an overhead. So yeah, this is what she gets. Uh, this cat drone and you can do uh, four or five different types of moves from it. Here's the thing with this move. And here's the problem with this variation as a core. This is not what Sonya is trying to do during a gameplay. What I'm doing right now, getting into my opponent's face and, you know, really giving them a hard time, this is where Sonya excels at. Her zoning is just a compliment. Uh, the cat turret basically adds nothing to her toolkit. And I've always said that the way I judge a terrible variation isn't by how powerful the character is overall. I mean, I think this was exemplified in my Aaron Black video. A lot of people were pissed at me because I said Aaron Black has some of the worst variations or one of the worst variations. People were like, no, you're an idiot. Aaron Black is good. Yes, overall, he's a great character. And overall, Sonya Blade is a great character. But even a great character can have an absolute ass of a variation. And Sonya in Ten Hut really is a character like this. She is still great, she still has all her basic combos, her BMBs, but you know, a variation is supposed to add something. I mean, if it didn't add anything, you could just use the basic, uh, you know, like moveless version, which this game doesn't have, but you know, you know how MKX had those uh, no variation characters? Like, you might as well use that with this character, because this cat turret, not only does it not last for a long time, it doesn't even add to her zoning. I mean, this on its own, with the Amplify, is a far better zoning tool than any of the cat turret moves. I mean, the problem with these moves is that you have to program them, and when she does her little, you know, programming with her wrist, like, look at how long this takes. Uh, the opponent has so much time to react to this, to jump over, to counter this. Yeah, like if I do the low shot, look how long it takes before I can do anything. And again, it doesn't add to her combo game, it doesn't add to her pressure, it doesn't add to anything Sonya can do. And again, to me, that really is the kind of textbook definition of a bad variation. When you have a move or set of moves that doesn't add anything to the character. Yeah, and unfortunately Sonya Ten Hot is like this. There's no reason not to use Ringmaster instead. However, 
enough talking out of my ass, enough showing this character in training mode, let's take this bitch online in ranked sets. Alright, here we go, we might actually have a Sonya mirror on our hands because this guy had a, a Sonya blade profile pick. Let's go with 10 hot. Oh shit. Now this, this is going to be a perfect demonstration. Let's see how the supposed quote unquote zoning variation of Sonya can deal with an excellent zoning character. I think he's using, he's using variation one, I think. Yeah. That's a cool looking katana. I like the mask. All right, God, I haven't played MKX in age. I mean, MK11 age, in ages. I haven't played MKX in ages too. I mean, I wasn't lying. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, problem number one. How the fuck do you get this turret out? There we go. Oh yeah. No, you can hella just like disrespect the turret. See, the weird thing is, is that actually, when it comes down to it, Sonya as a whole has better zoning than fucking Kitana. That has always been a case, and this guy doesn't seem to know that. Yeah. So, this is a perfect example of why this variation is shit. Sonya can already compete with characters that you classify as zoners. So it's like this cat turret. Oh yeah, she can just jump over it. Okay, that's hella disrespect. What? That's some next level shit. So yeah, as you can see, my projectile is already good enough to compete with her. It's like, what do I do with this cat? Aside from sniping her out of the air. Oh, okay, that, that actually was good. I'm willing to admit that the one advantage this thing might have is that the cat turret moves still activate even if you, if you get hit. So it doesn't go away when you get hit. Uh, and that's pretty good, but still, if you consider what her other variations offer her, i.e. ring cancels or parries and some unique air moves which variation 1 has, what do I truly get here? God damn this game. What is this, Injustice 2? I feel like I'm playing in just ass. I'm really trying to like maximize the cat turret here. Uh what? It's not It's not doing much. Like see, I would much rather do this to end the combo. Shit. I can just chill here. Yeah, I knew he was gonna go for that. Fine. Alright. Kitana is still a zoner. God, what a... Fucking... Like... People wonder why I don't play MK11 too much anymore. Uh, this game has really gone the way of the Injustice 2. In terms of... Uh, zoning being... So prominent. Yeah, it's not a good. Whoa! It just... Oh, the, the turret just fucked off. Did you, did you actually see that? The turret did the little... Ani oh, I didn't think that was in range. I thought I dodged... I'm, I'm about to lose this. I'm hella about to lose this. I thought I was... I thought I was out of range. Yeah. It's not much I can do there. Uh, he's gonna fatality. Oh no, he's not. I really thought it was gonna fatality. So yeah, did you guys actually see that? Damn, this variation is glitchy as hell as well. 
I did the overhead turret move and it like the little droid wasn't next to me so it jumped and Sonya was reeling up to do the little salute fuck this variation is so bad and again I'm specifically I didn't mention this at the start but I'm specifically looking at this video in the context of th third variations I mean honestly a lot of characters got pretty decent third variations and that's why a character like this oh, it doesn't even combo a variation like this for Sonya sticks out like a th sore thumb I don't know why this guy keeps going for that and that sucks as well like if you do your move right at the end uh, as the turret is going away you still have to sit through her animation of her doing the programming but the droid is already gone so it doesn't why do I keep saying droid so it doesn't actually activate the move which you want I mean the thing is without dissing anyone uh, this guy is not very good so I'm getting away with a lot of shit if I was playing an actual decent person uh, like half the stuff I'm doing would not be okay but seriously it's like she has good zoning already uh, what the fuck is the point of oh you cannot summon it that's interesting what the fuck is the point of this turret so yeah, that is Sonya Blade Variation 3. Uh, not only is this a variation that completely misses the point of this character, it is also a variation that is hella, hella overshadowed by uh, her other two variations, which are still decent. I mean, Sonya Blade is still a very, very solid character, which makes the inclusion of this character or this variation even more baffling. I mean, I don't even remember what other moves she has. Uh, let me just go and quickly uh, go into customize and see what else they could have added uh, because I'm really curious to see what else there was potential for. Um, let's see. Abilities. Ops drop. Gain an air grab. The counters and the cat turret see there actually isn't that much you could have done with her now that I'm looking at this soaring general this could have been this could have been a move uh, but then again it's like it's not really enough to base a variation around it's weird Sonya Blade is weird she doesn't actually seem to have that many moves they could have gone with I mean, in that context, this variation makes sense, but in the context of it being usable, it's not. Unfortunately, it's not. There's never going to be a situation competitively or even in rank sets where you would take this variation of Sonya over the other versions. And to me, that really signifies... God, I can't even talk. A useless variation. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Who do you think is the worst uh, new variation they added? And if your suggestion is something that I'm interested in, I might look at that character. For now, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. With YouTube's policy towards Mortal Kombat 11 and similar content, I don't actually make any money from these videos, so extra likes and subs are always appreciated. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out. Goodbye.